Okay, this is our balancing gait segment. So in those ex in those uh, little exercise sheet that you got, we're gonna go through a few of these. And uh, some of those we may not have gone through all of, but I, I just wanted you to kind of have an idea of some of the exercises that we actually do in the water. So you kind of have that outline for that. So Ms. Kinsey's gonna be showing you, we do a lot of walking, just walking in fins and just trying to get them to pick those fins up. I call them like clown feet. Like, you know, that's pretty much what it is. Like, you know, everything's so big. But it's great, great, great for balance, control, just trying to use those. Now, if she was having difficulty, then what I would do, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> just flip around. There you go. Like that, like that. I would give her some dumbbells. Right? To kind of help with the balance. See, that, that kind of calmed her down a little bit. It's actually a lot better for her. She feels a little bit more. Okay? Yep. Next is Amy. So now Amy has our big cuffs on, and she's going to do what we call knee up, out, down. So knee up, kick out, come down. Uh huh. Knee up, kick out, down. And I'm trying to slow her down because I want her working on single leg balance and balance. So she's working eccentric control right now. Okay, and you can see she's kind of scully. We call that scully in water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her the long bars. So that will give her an even more buoyancy assisted when she is in the water working on balance. Now, if she didn't need that, then I could take her back and put, give her the, the dumbbells, okay? And let's do a little bit of sidestep. Face in the, yep, and just go up, out, together. I call it kind of just karate kicks. Just trying to get hip motion. Again, single leg balance, trying to slow her down so she's really working on stability and balance. Yep. I was trying to stay behind you. Beautiful. Okay. Then the last ones I, I, we always have to do is walking on toes, walking on heels. There you go. And I'll probably get her a little bit deeper, but I'm out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Walking on toes. And then she's going to go backwards, walking on heels. Just go back. There we go. Walking on toes, walking on heels. Knee up, out. Again, as I said, with all our patients, we're doing balance and gait, we're doing deep water, we're doing upper body stuff. We're really trying to give them the whole body experience in the water, which is one of the things clinically I feel that's why water is so successful, that we're not just working just on the knee or just on the ankle. We, we take a whole body approach so that they actually get better, faster with what's happening with them by getting stronger a whole body. And we also do the stretches with them. So thank you very much.